Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, Hashem. You have a shy Hashem Rakakodashay. Much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you brothers that have been redeemed, and all you believers that can understand this covenant. Um, that means that you were back believing in the Lord in the first and the second century, and you're back believing on the Lord in this time. Um, like I say, this this new covenant is for certain men that have um, a particular understanding, and this is a spiritual covenant. And so, if you find yourself insisting that um, Moses, that you have to follow Moses, that just means that you're not of you're not the redeemed, you're not the elect. You're not the virgins. Well, uh, a lot of you guys um, have been defiled with this world. You've been defiled with carnal women, and a lot of you guys have been defiled with philosophies and shit and ways of the world. Uh, the new covenant is a covenant that has nothing to do with what camps have been teaching. All these camps have been set up to hold you in the flesh. That is the whole thing about this. But if you're of the spirit, then you will understand the new covenant. So if you find yourself thinking you got to hold all the laws and you got guys that are sitting up teaching false doctrine and lying, talking about they follow the whole law, <laughs> then you you just you, uh, so many false prophets set up in this last day to teach false doctrine to hold you in the flesh. That's what that's about. From guys waiting on new bodies to guys that has slithered in the new covenant, attempting to hold you in that old law. But it will not work. And it's not working, actually. So guys get it twisted. They think because they might have more followers or more more people that 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 what they're talking about really means something. It doesn't mean that. Uh, the why this the scripture the scripture tell you that the wide gate where many people are that's a path to destruction and, and so what guys have done um, they have they they're trying to make the new covenant a wide gate but this is only where a few are found where two or three are gathered so this ain't a wide gate uh, type of thing. This is only what few will find. You see? Um, so I want to read a couple things to add to um, that um, lesson I did yesterday. So this thing is spiritual. It's all about the spirit behind things. That's why the scriptures say when your ways, when a man's ways please the Lord... It make of his enemies at peace with him. So when you understand that, you understand that nothing, no trusting in nothing carnal um, is going to help you in these days. So by guys showing you to trust in that carnal law, uh, which is the law of Moses, that means that they're carnal. You're not spiritual holding to that old law. You know, you're of the world holding to that old law. Um, and this is what you have to understand about this new covenant. Guys tell you who they are because they're holding you to the flesh. If guys really understood the new covenant, they will not be holding to that old law. So, like I said, and I said it before, guys actually believe. They don't believe that Yahweh can keep you righteous, righteous. They think you need Moses to be righteousness. That's why the scriptures say righteousness without the law has manifested. Matter of fact, I'm gonna that's what we're gonna start at. And this is Romans the third chapter. And that's what um that's what the story of Abraham showed you. So when you go you go back to Abraham, just like with Enoch. Okay. Enoch walked with God, just like Abraham walked with God. And these were these were men that were walking with God before the law. So it's going back to that way. So a lot of you guys that find yourself stuck in Moses and stuck in bondage, 
and you're following Moses and you're telling people to follow Moses, not understanding that that old law, there's no justification in, in it. Meaning that old law doesn't get you with God. Moses is not the mediator. The scriptures say there's only one mediator. A lot of guys don't even understand that. Guys are blatantly lying on the scriptures, bro. It is crazy, man. Guys don't have no fear of God in them. Yeah, so there's only one mediator. There's not two mediators, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Galatians uh, 3 and 20. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. You see? So there's only one mediator. First Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God and one mediator. One mediator. This don't have nothing to do with Moses. At, we're at the point now, guys are just blatantly teaching lies and breaking the scriptures down wrong. They're blatantly doing it. So you have to get away from guys that's teaching you Moses. Moses, that law is not a faith, like the scriptures tell you. All right. So, guys, this is what guys are saying. They're saying by us just following the Lord. We need Moses because Yahweh Shai is not righteous enough. We need the law of Moses. You see? So it's a plot to keep you in the flesh. Because if you believe in Moses, and this has to be hammered home. Because you got so many guys that are false prophets and they don't have no discernment. And they're trying to bring confusion because a lot of guys are of Satan and they're fighting for this world. You can't take nobody serious. They got cartoons in their videos. You cannot take none of those guys serious. They don't have no understanding. And the scriptures say that an evil man can't be reproved. Because guys actually got dark angels over their fucking, um, over their spirit, really keeping them from really understanding um, this covenant. So there's only one uh, mediator. There's only one mediator. There's only one spirit. There's only one way. First Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one power and one mediator between God and men. The man, Yahweh Mashiach. So the anointed is the only mediator. That's why Moses said real quick. And we're going to go to Romans 3. I got a couple things I want to read. So Acts 3. And this is what Peter said. This is what Moses said. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You have to um, repent and separate yourself from everybody that's teaching. And you have to believe in the Lord because you believing in the Lord. That's you putting your faith in the Lord. The old law is not a faith. It's just teaching you how to do carnal things. But now this is on a whole nother level. That's why if you find yourself now understanding the new covenant and you're leaning to Moses and you cannot understand that Moses has nothing to do with this anymore, then you're you're not of the elect because this covenant is only for spiritual minds and the spirit is enmity with the flesh. So the spiritual covenant is enmity with the old law. So you have to follow what the Lord said. This is uh, Acts 3 and 22. It says for truly it says for Moses truly said unto the fathers. Now, this is what Moses said. A prophet shall come. A prophet shall the Lord your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. So Moses truly said unto the fathers. Guys, never read this because there, there, there it's an agenda. You have guys set up to teach you lies. You see, you got guys set up to teach you lies. Because, guys, this is the only thing, this is the last thing that stops the elect from getting to God. Guys attempting to uh, teach lies. That's why the scriptures say that the elect won't be deceived. So it's like you're, whatever you guys are doing is not going to work. And we see you guys are not of God. This ain't an this ain't acting thing anymore. You can't act anymore. You cannot act in these last days. If you're not of God, we see all you guys. 
The true men of God, they was not exalted. The true men of God did not teach you Moses. If, Like I said, if you do, do study like we do extensive studies and there's nowhere in the Gospels where they were mentioning to keep Moses because that law is not a faith. So they weren't teaching you to keep Moses. They weren't doing miracles talking about keeping the old law of Moses. They wasn't doing that. You're spiritual to understand to do the spirit is going to keep you from certain things. That's why guys have never been in the spirit. They tell them themselves because they think you need Moses. No, if you're in the spirit, you're over the law. You're going to, you're going to do the things that's right. That's why we understand guys have are not in the spirit because they really don't trust in your shy enough just to follow him. They need Moses to tell them what to do. So, that's why this new covenant ain't for everybody because everybody is not spiritual and everybody don't have faith. All right. So if you find yourself holding to Moses trapped in camps, highly likely you're not of the Lord. Now, I know certain of you are going to repent and realize like what you're doing, but a lot of you are Satan. Satan is in you. Acts 3 and 22 for Moses truly said unto the fathers, a prophet shall your Lord power raise up unto you or your brethren like unto me. Him ye shall hear in all things. You hear that? So what guys are saying that Yahweh Shai is not righteous enough to keep you from the evil. You need somebody to tell you to not do certain shit. You see what I'm saying? So you guys are still in sin because you make Yahweh Shai without effect unto you. So you're still in sin. You can't have two masters, bro. That's what that means. All right. <laughs> so as long as you got Moses in the mix, you're still in the flesh. Let's read that again and, and move on in this lesson. That's what that means. I'm sorry you guys can't comprehend spiritual things, you know, but you're in the flesh. Uh, believing in Moses. There's no two mediators. There's only one mediator. I just read it. Uh, Galatians 5. Matter of fact, I want to go into this real quick. Galatians 5. Galatians crushes you guys. You guys don't have no context. You don't have no context. That's crazy. You're not in the spirit, so you don't have no understanding. You, you're, you're out of context. Now, uh, th this is uh, Galatians 5 and 4. And all we're doing, because we're not really going back and forth with reprobates. What we're doing is what Paul did. Paul would have to write letters constantly explaining certain things to different churches. And this is the same thing we're doing. But now the letters are in videos. And you could get the understanding much quicker. So they were not teaching you to hold that old law. They were teaching you that that law is it doesn't justify you at all and nothing. Matter of fact, you keeping that law, that means you don't have no faith in your Howard Shai's law. You see, you keeping that old law means you don't have faith that the Lord will keep you from evil or keep you from doing certain things because you've never been in the spirit. So we're dealing with a bunch of carnal guys that have... Uh, of, of the majority of guys have uh, hijacked uh, the new covenant. You just got so many guys and um, we're giving you the eyes to see. Anybody holding a Moses in this time, they're trying to keep you in the flesh. And you cannot hold two masters. So if you think you're keeping Moses, um, then you're not in the spirit. Just like a lot of guys are not. You can tell guys are not in the spirit. They don't have a they don't have the doctrine of the new covenant. They have their own doctrine. Galatians 5 and 4. The anointing has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. So all you guys in these camps, you have fallen from grace. You're not in no period of grace. You fallen from grace. All you guys that are holding to Moses. You, you're, you, the Yahweh Shai's law, it has no effect unto you. So therefore you're carnal and you feel like you have to keep that law. Therefore you fallen from grace. So you're not when you guys are not in no period of grace. You're not. You don't have nothing to do with no grace right now. The scripture just told you that you're fallen because you don't believe in the Lord. And you may say the Lord and you may say this and you may say that and we're of the Lord and we have the Holy Spirit. 
You don't have a Holy Spirit holding to Moses. That's why this whole groups and camps was set up to hold you to Moses. That's why certain guys in the new covenant is set up to hold you to Moses, to hold you in the flesh like them. You can't take cartoons seriously. <laughs> it's crazy. All you guys that's holding to Moses, man, it's sad. That's why like these camps, you got to look at it like this. These camps, they're not there at all. They're, they're, tr they're totally off the mark. Guys in the new covenant still are, they're teaching the new covenant, but then they're holding to Moses. They're like halfway there. But then you really got to just have faith in Yahweh Shai and his law. That gets you all the way there with the Lord. So if you're holding to Moses, you don't have nothing to do with the spirit. So a lot of guys, they do not have the uh, uh, understanding. It, it is kind of, um, it's kind of crazy that you have guys teaching these certain things and um, by them teaching it, they don't, well, that's why the Lord got guys tricked into thinking that they're of the Lord holding you to Moses. You're not of the Lord holding men to Moses. And this is the stumbling block that Yahweh Shai brought. So if you're not spiritual, then you're really not going to understand. You can't have nothing to do with Moses. And I think that is so beautiful. So by the way, how guys are teaching, they're teaching, trying to justify you so you can keep the old law. Not understanding that that has nothing to do with the righteousness of Yahweh Shai and nothing to do with the spirit. So basically you against the spirit. So that word uh, effect in Galatians 5 and 4. Strong G 2673. Katar Gale. Katar So you make uh, Yahweh Shai, you render to, to idle. You're unemployed, inactive, inoperative. You make the new covenant in inoperative to you. To cause a person or a thing to have no further efficiency to deprive of force, influence, and power. So men are being deprived of the force of the new covenant because they're making Yahweh Shai have no effect on them because they're holding to Moses. Moses has no power. Moses, that law of Moses is not of faith at all. It's just, it, was, it was carnal commandments to give us in them times to follow because certain of our, of our people were brute beasts, which they broke them laws already. Now it says to cause to cease to put an end to or to do away with and to abolish to cease to pass away to be done away <sighs> to be severed from from charge from discharge from loose by anyone to terminate all intercourse with one. So Yahweh Shai has no um, intercourse. He's by you keeping that old law, you are not, um, the, the new law has no effect. So it does not have any, um, um, you make Yahweh Shai's law of none, none effect. That means that you're, you're being separated from that law. So you're not you're not being joined to the new covenant. You're being separated by it, by you holding to Moses. So you you have fallen from the grace to be severed from, separated, discharged from, loose from anyone, terminate, vanish away, fail, lose, put away, abolish. So that old law was abolished when the Lord died on the cross. So by you holding to Moses, you have fallen from the grace. That's why guys are so carnal. And another thing, you guys in these camps, you of a you're of a respect of persons. The Lord said there's no respect of persons with God. So when it comes to your elders, the what that means is being having no respect of persons. What you got to understand is that um, having no respect to persons um, even as a, if a person is wrong you have to let guys know that they're wrong there's no respect to persons with God man 
And a lot of you guys are in respect of persons because I guess you don't have any friends or whatever the fuck. But there's no respect of persons, even to the elders. They're not exempt from being wrong. And they're wrong, holding you to the old law, teaching false doctrine. Teaching you you need new bodies into being your own land. That's false doctrine. So there's no respect of persons. Proverbs 28, 21. 21 to have respect of persons is not good for a piece of bread that man will transgress. So a lot of guys are transgressing having re respect of persons and they have no loyalty to the Lord or to the spirit. Guys are of the world. Proverbs 24 and 23. These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have a respect of persons. Right. So a lot of you guys are not man enough to tell your elders they're wrong or to question them. I think I've heard uh, Apostle DeHart say that if we're wrong, tell us we're wrong. And that's one thing guys are not going to do. They're not going to tell you you're wrong. Guys are not uh, friends of the Lord like that. You got groups of guys, all these guys in these groups, they don't have no faith. That's why we've been set up to explain to you, if you're holding to that old law, you're the flesh. And you're dangerous right about now. You have no, no fucking faith. You're not in the spirit. Romans 2 and 11, for there is no respect of persons with God. Right. So if you're wrong, you're wrong. So that's how we know you guys in these camps. You got all this respect of person for these elderly men and they're wrong. It don't matter how many years they've been in. The scriptures say, don't be, um, don't be scared to inform the, 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 the extreme age. And guys are extreme age, man, teaching false doctrine. And they're wrong. So let's go to Romans 3 real quick. So um, Romans 3 and 21 um, what has happened is that um, a righteousness without the law has manifested. So going into that law with uh, with Abraham, see, guys don't even understand Abraham. They guys were dealing with guys that are just teaching the Bible because they want to they want to uh, seem like they're right. But actually, they're not in the spirit. This don't have nothing to do with like a lot of guys. 80 to 90 percent of guys teaching the Bible. This really don't have nothing to do with them. I say like almost 90% of guys teaching the Bible everywhere. This don't have nothing to do with them. That's what the scripture mean crept in underwear. You got certain guys holding you to Moses. You got certain guys telling you you're waiting on new bodies. They've never told you that shit. In, uh, the, they've never told you that in Acts. You have to renew your mind. This is Romans 3 and 20. It says, so men were righteous without the law. That's what Abraham was showing you. That's what Enoch showed you. And it's just like that in these times. So you don't need the law to be righteous if you're of God. That's why the new covenant is only for men that are of God. You got to understand that. The new covenant is not for groups of people or camps of people. It's not. It's only for a selected few that really have an understanding. And I'm telling you this. I'm going to just say this. If you really understood the new covenant, you would not be bringing Moses in it. So that shows that a lot of you guys, the Lord does not want you to get it. And I'm glad you guys don't understand. I'm glad. You holding a Moses, that just shows you're carnal. And you have to go get bug out bags and and uh, get guns and shit. Because uh, the enemy, your enemies ain't going to be at peace with you when all shit break loose. Because you wasn't spiritual. All you guys are carnal. And on top of that, you are holding men to a law that's been cursed, that's been abolished. So you saying the Lord coming and dying on the cross, that don't mean nothing to you. I'm going to keep the law of Moses anyway. And the guys in the synagogues, they were against the Lord and bringing his new law. They hated the Lord bringing his new law. Romans 3 and 20, it says, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight therefore by the deeds of the law how can you how can you break this down wrong 
unless you're just a unless you're Satan. <laughs> it says, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. All right, for the law is the knowledge of sin. That's why Paul tells you in 2 Corinthians 3 that the law is a condemnation of death. We're free from that. But a lot of you guys are not free. You're of Satan. That law is dead. It's not of faith. Now check this out. Romans 3 and 21. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. You see that? But now the righteousness of, the, of God without the law is manifested. To all you guys holding to Moses, you're of the world. You're carnal. You're not spiritual. That's why you like to be seen in garments. Those garments you're wearing has nothing to do with God in this time. Them garments don't justify you. Your Passovers don't justify you. Your Sabbaths don't justify you. The only thing is justifying you. The only ones that are justified is the elect that have a spiritual connection with the new covenant. A lot of you guys don't have a spiritual connection. You, you covered to be the elect, but you're not because you're carnal. You don't have no trust in the Lord. You trust in that old law. You don't trust that the Lord can keep you safe. You don't trust that the Lord has enough power to keep you out of harm. You think you need Moses. So that shows you guys are carnal. And that's why we get far away from you carnal guys. That says Romans 3 and 22. Even the righteousness of God, which is by the faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So now the righteousness of God is through the faith of the anointed. Through Yahweh Shai. Through the new covenant. So guys that don't really have access to this understanding... They're holding to Moses because they have to because they really don't have that understanding. They don't have a context. It's clear now. It's very clear that a lot of you guys are of the world teaching. It is very clear. You have really nothing to do with this new covenant. And we're teaching certain brothers to to see that. Okay. Now it says even the righteousness of God, which is by the faith of Yahweh Mashiach, is upon all. Is unto all and upon all them that believe. You see that? And there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being fr being justified freely by his grace. So you have to be free from that law in order to be under grace. Remember the scripture tell you in Galatians that um you've fallen from grace, holding on to that old law says being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's right. So a lot of you guys don't understand that that law has no justification. That is the law and the knowledge of sin. So it's, it's the scripture tell you that Abraham um, he had faith and he was righteous before that law. Just like the righteousness of the law, righteousness has been manifested without the law now. So you no longer, you don't need that law to be righteous now. Uh, Romans uh, 4 and 1, it says, What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, have found? Let me read that again. It says, What shall we say that Abraham, our father, as pertained to the flesh, have found. For if Abraham were justified by works, he have whereof glory, but not before God. For what saith the scriptures, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So a lot of guys don't believe, they don't have the faith of Abraham because they don't believe in the new covenant like that. So you have to believe in the new covenant now. Not the old law of Moses. So it shows that guys don't believe in the new covenant. So they don't have the righteousness of faith right now. They don't have any faith. That law is not a faith. And now we got guys blatantly just breaking the scriptures down wrong. To keep you in that old law. Because Satan and all these guys, they're desperate. It says, now to him that work of is a reward, not reckon of grace, but of debt. But to him that work of not, but believeth on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith 
is counted for righteousness. Let's, let's read that again. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also described the blessedness of men unto whom God imputed righteousness without works. You see that? Saying, blessed are those whose inequities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Right, because certain men were blessed already. That's why you have to find out who you are. And so through your understanding, you see, you will know who you are. Like if you can understand and have faith in the new covenant without the old, then you're of the Lord and the elect. If you cannot believe the new covenant and you have to bring Moses in it, anybody bringing Moses in it, they're of the flesh. And they're going to die off in this time because they were cut off in Zechariah. So certain men were blessed anyway. And it ain't because of their works. It's because of their righteousness. But certain men's works is going to show who they are. Men were already predestined. It goes back to Romans 8. Certain men were already predestined. So blessed are certain men whose iniquities are covered. Certain men were born into this world and their iniquities are covered because they were blessed already. So the righteousness without the, the old law has been manifested through Yahweh Shai. And, but only certain men are actually of God. It says blessed is a man whom the Lord will not impute sin. And this is only for the elect. So you, if you can understand that men were righteous without that old law, then you're of God. If you can't understand that righteousness has been manifested without that law and you're stuck on that old law, the law, the law, the law, you're of the world. So a lot of guys have stumbled in the new covenant and really they're just of the world like camps. Really, this don't have nothing to do with a lot of guys. Like we say, a lot of you guys, you're halfway there. <laughs> Almost don't count though. And you camps, you're not even halfway there. So you have to repent to the new covenant and understand that certain men were already justified and predestined according to Romans 8. So a lot of you are not going to make it by the righteousness of the law holding that old law. That, that old law is a stumbling block and a trap for a lot of you guys in this last day. But uh, let me get out of here. I read some more of Romans 4 a little later going into Abraham. But. Abraham was righteous already. He was already set up to walk with God. And certain of us are the same way today. Certain of us were set up to walk with God. So there's nothing you guys can do but just keep bringing confusion and lying. But everything is already set on who's already of God and who's already uh, set up to be delivered and sins covered. A lot of you guys buy what you're saying. You guys are of the world and you're of Moses and you will perish in this last day because you don't have no faith in the son. Repent to the new covenant. That's the only thing you need to repent to. You don't need to repent to a law that has been abolished and disannulled. <laughs> repent to the new covenant if you're spiritual because this new covenant is only for the redeemed. Hey, and with that, hey, shalom. Okay.